Melissa Muller from Female at Auto Park, extension 2. With a total of 11 fights consisting of four wins, five losses, as well as one draw, Melissa Muller. There she is, Melissa the Honey Bee Miller. 15 fights, 4 wins, 8 losses, 3 draws. The first female boxing champion to come out of El Dorado Park. She's here in the studio with us. Melissa, Honey Bee, it's good to have you with us. Nice and you, when you look at that, it's like you're there again. The smile <laughs> on your face is so huge. How good was it to eventually win the South African Bantamweight title? After so many tries, <laughs> like it was a relief. How many tries? <laughs> Tell us. I think I had like um, two WBF and three SA tries. Uh. And then with the fourth one. And I had a Gauteng try also, so with the, the fourth SA. My floor manager standing by here because you didn't bring the things that need to be brought onto the set with you. So, Luanda, please, you're going to be a TV star today. There <laughs> is the belt brought into the champ, and it says on it, show the viewers, show us the viewers, show the viewers what it says. It says, South African national right? champion, bantamweight. How heavy is a bantamweight? I don't know if ladies talk about the weight division. Do, I mean, are we allowed to talk about your weight? Yeah. No so problem. how heavy are you supposed to be on fight day? I'm not correct whether, but it's about 53.85 if I'm correct. 53, somewhere there. And so exactly I mean, I was, I was watching five. some of your videos. You hit hard, eh? <laughs> like you really do. In training, I was like, I saw you even sparring with men. You spar with men and they even hitting you. What's yes. that? <laughs> no, like um, the photo that they showed just now yeah. with my previous trainer. Uh -huh. I used to spar with men with him. Uh -huh. But my current trainer, I don't spar with men anymore. Oh, no more? <laughs> no. Did it hurt? <laughs> It like toughens you up. <laughs> <laughs> How do you get into boxing, Melissa? I mean, the one thing I know, El Dorado Park, especially, you know, the ladies from El Dorado Park, Sihara, you know, Rinala, <laughs> you know, or Divan Boxerei and what, what? Zara, it now feel like Allah throwing Yalko throwing her No, but Aldo's out. Aldo's, you know, now you decide you're going to go boxing. Except for Nara and now we. You're just a fighter. Not a fighter. 16 years of age, you start, right? Mm. But you didn't start because you wanted to be a boxer. No. You started for a girl's reason, right? <coughs> you wanted to lose weight. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't start boxing. Kick as you sport of an effort. Yeah. It's makkelijk om in het in te gaan, but you verstaan it now. Ken wat gaan for what. And I love boxing, eh? Like seriously, I love boxing. But I'm still so amazed, right? That it's a sport that you have been so passionate about for so long. Because you're now in your 30s. Mm -hmm. You started when you were 16. You even left for a little while. Mm -hmm. And it brought you, why leave to come back? Uh, when you love something, you just like, it, it calls you. <laughs> and it just said, come back. You know, like um, certain things, like it's like this when you <coughs> watch someone do something. Uh. So even watching fight, it's like that, like, yo, that could have been me. Uh. And that calls you like back, like, I could have been that person standing in that ring. I was looking at your stats, man. And this is why I'm confused about what calling you back. You've been knocked out. Hmm? You've seen stars. You've been flat on the floor. I never. But you were, uh, there was a knockout in your career. Not as knockout as out. Okay, how out were you knocked out? <laughs> the knockout that we're talking about is more the one where I actually wanted to stop boxing. Uh, you couldn't carry on that fight? No, no, no. They just stopped the fight. It wasn't a knockout. I've never heard a boxer say that, yeah, I was really, really out. Are you just, is it just an excuse or you were ready to keep I've going that day? No, I've never been knocked out to the floor. Uh -huh. Never. I know one of my fights, the, ref, the referee stopped the fight and said, no, she's receiving too much punishment. Sineda, net die, those terms there. Receiving too much punishment mm. means you're twa, 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 you're collecting punches. Uh, but I was and then you come through. No, I was like keeping my guards up. Uh -huh. So 
she was hitting against my gut, but because I didn't hit back, uh. that's the reason why they said I was. You've also thing. knocked somebody else out. It's the same thing, also. Like you were just hammering them. She, yeah, she was also getting too much punishment. <laughs> 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 Twenty sixteen, yeah. you became again another first for Eldorado Park, the first female boxer to be named Prospect of the Year by SA Boxing. It's been a long time since you've been in the game. To already get that, that recognition should have must have felt good. You, it was a, eh? it was awesome mm. just to be nominated. Mm. That alone was like, cause I never expected it. Yeah. So when Boxing SA phoned me and said like you're invited to the nominations of Boxing SA, I'm like, yo, I'm nominated. I'm in. <laughs> I'm there. And this was so the fight, right? This was the, your most recent fight. This was no. Last year, Makufe. I'm looking at you here, and people say... No, this say is not one of my best fights, so I'm like... You're on here. No, no, this is not my best Oh, you're not fight. happy I'm with like, this? No. What was wrong with you this day? No. In this fight, I had to drop weight. Yeah. So, uh, um... For the dropping weight and all, like... Mugh. Mm. Mugh. Cake. I and and <laughs> they, 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 they say you're similar in style to baby Jake Matlala, the late. Mm. Do you see it? What I see is like more they comparing the override with Baby Jake. Uh -huh. But That's I don't know. Tell us what's an override. We don't know. I don't know, like the. Okay, let me see. What <laughs> is the override? Say for. You know, it's like you, you throw. It's not a straight right. Like uh -huh. a straight right goes straight out, uh -huh. but your override it goes over. <laughs> yeah, hoi, oh, and then ta. Yeah, and it's one of the punches that lands the most because like it goes up on top. Uh, the one thing that also ama amazes me and. I, I saw it, but I, don't, I need to check if it's true. Do you use public transport to go to training every day? Yes. Public transport? Yes. The South African bantamweight champion, <laughs> rain or shine? <laughs> you're here. Uh, rain or shine? You stand in the, and you're here. I will, I have a lovely trainer now. But th that's so, so when much passion. I mean, I, I when there's days when I can't, he'll take me and catches me. Uh. But every other oh. day, you still catch a taxi, get on a yes. bus, do whatever it takes, get to Orlando and train. Mm -hmm. So that's where we come in, where we always ask like for sponsorship because, I mean, I need a sponsor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so at the moment, we're pleading for anybody to sponsor me. So that, what can happen in your career? If somebody says, I like your story, I like what you're doing for the community, I like what you're up to, what do you want to achieve next? So that's going to help me a lot because like then it, it will help with preparing for a fight. It's not just people think that what I see when we fighting <coughs> that that's boxing, mm. but they don't see the work behind mm. the fight. So preparing for a fight, supplements, seeing a doctor, because you get injuries on the road of preparing. So that's going to help a lot when I have a sponsor to like see to, okay, you have transport money for the month. Mm. You don't have to stress about where you have or you don't have. Mm. You have transport money for a month. You have supplement money for a month. Mm. Uh, do you need to see a doctor? Did you have any injuries for here? So it's really going to help a lot. South Africa, you heard from Melissa, the honeybee Miller, pleading for a little bit of assistance. She is the South African bantamweight champion, and she's the very first woman out of El Dorado Park to win a national boxing title. We're proud of your achievements. It's Women's Month. We Thank thought we were going to kick off with a strong woman. And congratulations on what you're doing for your community as well as yourself. Thanks a lot, eh? It's great to see you here in the studio. Nice to be and here. And I'm worried that I'll never get in the ring with you. You hit too hard. No, After there's, the see, see, there's one lady that I won't mind. Who? Getting back into the ring with. Who? Sheridan Vertain. You're just calling her out now? Yeah. You want her? You know, she, she's like a same as a couple of years ago. She won against me, she, but now I'm a new Melissa with my new trainer, my new manager. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for her. Wish she can come. <laughs> you, <laughs> wish she can come. You've been called. You've been called. You heard it. <laughs> We're going to set up the fight right here on Sport at 10.